What's up everybody, it's Sean here, and boy do I got something for you. Have you ever been playing a support, particularly Moira, and you're like, wow, she's really broken, and then just the best character ever. But, I wish we could just take it to the next level, and make her a Jedi. Well, your requests have been granted. With this tutorial, I will show you how to use the new editor for Overwatch to add a Force Choke ability. Hopefully he doesn't fall off the edge. And a force push ability. Stay tuned. Alright, so here's a closer look at the scripts and the rules that I added to the workshop mode in the new Overwatch uh, custom game settings that allow me to add that uh, force choke hold and that force push ability to Moira. So, once again, the workshop mode is in the custom game settings. Uh, you go to settings and workshop. Now, I have these rules set up, and I'm just going to go through the rules and explain what they do. So, what this uh, will teach you is how to apply forces to other players in the game of Overwatch, and how to add effects to players that you're damaging or players that you're looking at, and things like that. And particularly, adding, like, external forces to them. The first big thing is the force push. So this is an event that is on each player, but it only will affect players playing the character Moira, as you can see by this bottom um, condition right here. Hero of event player, meaning the person playing for each instance of all players, if it's equal to Moira, then we can do this ability. Some other conditions that we use is um, we have to make sure that we're not too far away from the player in order to have the effect. We don't want to be able to push them when they're already across the map. Um, so we check to see if the distance between, I'll open this up if you guys want to see it, the distance between um, the player that we are looking at and ourselves. And I'll explain how we got that result. So... Um, the distance between these two value, values. So this is checking to see if there are any players within our specified angle that we said before of 10 degrees. And if there are, then we take that player and we compare its position to the event player, which is just the player. Um, so that's that. And then we also check to see if the button is being held down. And right now it's just fire one. Then um, if all those things are true, we can add an impulse. So impulses are like forces that you put onto different characters in the game. Um, so this is the same parameters that find a character in our angle parameter and you add a impulse towards it and it's a vector towards, meaning um, it is a force that's applied in a direction that can change on dif different variables in the game. Here we're using a line that's drawn from the event player to that player that we're looking at, meaning directly away from us um, relatively. And then we are applying a speed of 40 to it and keeping these things constant. Now um, we continue to check it, so we'll add a little bit of force, and if they're not fully out, we'll repeat this and there, that way so we, we can hold down one left click and then keep pushing them back until they're out of range. We need to have a loop condition along with a weight. It's really important to have a weight because loops won't work without weights. And you need to have a minimum of 0.25 seconds for that weight. But at the very bottom, if you put a loop, if condition is true, that means once it gets down here, then it'll check are all these things still true? If it is, it'll go back to the top and keep doing it. So that's force push. Force choke is a bit more complicated, and it uses a different method. Rather than checking to see if the player is close to us, we can just check to see if we're damaging the player. And that's because Moira damages the player as she's using her right click anyway. So we can kind of override onto that and add some more effects. So. If the secondary fire button is equal to true, and we are playing Moira, then um, it's important to note that this event will only happen when a player dealt damage. Um, and this is for all players, but just the players um, playing Moira. 
we can apply an impulse again, but this time it's not that relative direction thing. It's just a constant up at 3.5. And this also is looping the same way, meaning we'll keep nudging the character up as long as we're still meeting these conditions. And then also we're going to set status of the victim, which is the character being dealt damage to, and that only works if we're in player dealt damage mode. And we're going to set its status to stunned for half a second, which is slightly longer than this wait time so that he's not going in and out of stun pretty randomly. Um, so in all, um, this is a way that we can just access that player directly, block them from being able to use any movement abilities, and keep them suspended in the air. Um, so that's the, that's the abilities I added. I will make a share link if you guys want to see. Um, so here's the share link. Uh, feel free to check out this code and show me what you can do with it. Post in the comments maybe a video or just something that you were able to do with this or any modifications you had. If you have any questions, also comment that. And don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps out. And I'll be making a bunch more videos on how to make better scripts um, with the Overwatch uh, workshop mode. So thanks and have a good day.